From a US drone colliding with a Russian jet over the Black Sea, to Andrew Tate losing his appeal again to be released, and then the right to work in Michigan was repealed. We got a lot of news to talk about. What is going on everybody? We're back to another video. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button. It just helps the channel grow. And today we're hopping right in the news. The first piece of news we got is a US drone actually collided with a Russian jet over the Black Sea. And this is kind of the first time like during this whole Ukraine war that the US and Russia have like directly collided with each other. And it raises a lot of concern, especially for the US, because I guess this drone was like high technology and Russia is claiming that they're going to get it right now, which could possibly give them more info on like how we're operating and things like that. So the US is saying that they want to try to get it. So it's kind of a fight to see who can get there first. I also read too that where it crashed over the Black Sea is really deep water. So they don't even know if they'll be able to recover it, which is interesting to read. I don't know what happened to the Russian jet. I didn't see a whole lot of that. I just know that the drone got destroyed. So definitely interesting to read. I'll have to keep you guys updated once they find the pieces. And our next piece of news is a little bit of a confusing one. I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can. It's a lot of legal jargon. So I had to like trying to wrap my head around it. But in Michigan, they basically appealed the right to work law, which pretty much means that you work for someone else and they can pay you whatever they want. And for contractors, this means if you work somewhere that has a union, you don't get the union pay, you get whatever the contractor pays you, which could be significantly less. And union reps have been fighting really hard to try to get this overturned. And it actually just passed. From what it seems like, it's gonna help a lot of families and people out. They're just gonna be able to make more. I mean, you gotta think, if you're working at a job that you're literally doing the same thing as someone else, except you're a contractor, you can make significantly less, but now you're gonna make the same as everyone else. If you're curious on the whole thing, definitely go check out the story. I mean, it's really interesting to read and I'm pretty sure like the union rep were waiting on everyone to vote for like nine hours straight. I mean, they were committed. And our next piece of news is actually an update on a story I did in my last video where we talked about this massive piece of seaweed that's slowly coming towards the US, mainly Florida. And pieces of it have actually started rolling up on the beach. I'll throw up some pictures, but I mean, it's a crap ton. And like, this doesn't even scrape the top of it. This thing is 5,000 miles long. I mean, it's massive. Basically what I read was is every few years, this stuff just built builds up and then it washes on shore and it causes everybody a headache, but it's still crazy like how much is washing up. This thing weighs over 10 million tons. I mean, it's absolutely just a crazy amount of seaweed. And I read too, it can cause a lot of harm to the environment as fish get entangled up in it. And as it clouds over coral and stuff, it can just kill it, which is sad to hear. So I'm wondering like how they're gonna fix this problem. But as more stuff comes out, I'll keep you guys updated. And our next piece of news is an update on the Cyclone Freddy that's going on. I talked about it in a previous video where two areas were getting hit really hard and they're still getting hit to this day. And I believe the death toll has already surpassed 270 people, which is so sad to hear. I mean, that's so many people. It's honestly heartbreaking, and I just hope everyone out there is okay and they can get back on their feet, because I mean, it decimated towns. Like, it's so sad to hear. This thing on the radar, though, looks like it's headed exactly for Indonesia, so if you're in that area, definitely stay safe. Just, I mean, bunker down, get food, get prepared, because if it does make it all the way over there, it can be really bad. I mean, these other cities have been hit so hard, but just to prepare you guys. And our next story, Andrew Tate's newest appeal just got denied. He was trying to get released again, but the judge didn't denied it, which makes me wonder like if they have anything against him yet. I don't believe they've come out with anything, which is crazy. I mean, they've held him for like what, 90 to 120 days. Besides on how you view Andrew Tate, keeping him in jail for that long without like any reason. I mean, that's kind of messed up. You got to at least show something like, why are you keeping this guy in here? But just want to update you guys on that. Really interesting to hear. I don't know if they're going to appeal again, like if they're even able to, but if he does, I'll let you guys know. And our next piece of news is an update on the strikes in France. They're still going on and it keeps on getting worse by the day. Right now, the biggest headlines are is there's just trash everywhere because the garbage collectors are on strike right now so no one is collecting the trash there's probably still a few guys who didn't go on strike but still a few guys can't clean up the whole city so there's pictures circulating everywhere right now of just trash piled up sky high i mean it's crazy i'll throw up some pictures but it just goes to show you like you got to pay people decent they're doing the jobs that either you don't want to do or that need done and if you and you got to pay them you know what i'm saying like you can't not pay these people it blows my mind like how cheap they try to pay these people like they're doing some of the most important jobs that society needs picking up trash Trash is a huge one. Like clearly people are realizing it now. I bet it smells crazy over there. So hoping France can get that all figured out and just, I don't know, start paying people what they deserve and just giving them benefits and stuff. And our next piece of news is a really interesting one, but Honduras said that they're actually gonna try to seek ties with China, which means that they would be cutting off their whole relationship with Taiwan. Really interesting. I mean, if you don't know, China and Taiwan are kind of like at a standoff right now because Taiwan makes a lot of the semiconductor chips and the US kind of has control over that and China wants it because it's expensive to make, you know, and Taiwan is got it down pat. So it's pretty tense between them right now. It's interesting that Honduras is choosing China's side. Taiwan's the one making the chips, you know? So it makes me wonder like if China's starting their own chip manufacturing or what got Honduras on their side. But if anything becomes between China and Taiwan, I'll definitely let you guys know. And our next story, Tyson is closing two buildings, one in Arkansas and the other in Virginia. And over 1,600 workers are gonna either lose their jobs or be relocated. I don't know how many people are gonna be relocated because if you close buildings, people are gonna have to drive farther and a lot of people can't make the commute or there's just not gonna be anywhere near them to 
drive to. So potentially 1,600 people could lose their jobs soon. It seems like Tyson is just kind of joining the layoffs. They said that their revenue is down, which is why they're closing the plants. Really interesting to read though. I hope all those people can get new jobs or just get relocated to somewhere good. But that's all the news that I got for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, run it up. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.